Hey, yo, what's up with the Niner Empire? Well, we came, we saw, we didn't conquer. Uh, shout out to the Minnesota Vikings. Props to you guys. Great game. I knew you guys would bring it. Um, home opener, first week of the season. I knew we were basically going to have to play perfect football in order to come out with a victory. And you know, we had our chances, but, you know, missed opportunities from Alfred Morris foaming on the one-yard line. Um, George Kittle wide open on a deep pass from Garoppolo and just couldn't bring it in. Uh, Pierre Garçon uh, could have had a touchdown catch in the end zone, but he couldn't hold on to it. And then um, on a little fourth and fourth and inches play, um, the little hard cow by, the, on, by Kirk Cousins uh, causing – uh, Solomon Thomas to cause that neutral zone infraction. So, and at the end of the day, missed opportunities, they'll they'll get you at the end, and that's what did us. And, um, you know, again, like I said, uh, props to the Vikings. They did their thing. They came out. Um, uh, Kirk Cousins looks like he's going to do good for you guys. Uh, Dalvin Cook looked really good out there. And then, of course, you got your receivers like Adam Thielen, um, you know, um, Steph – Stefan Diggs. So, hey, it, it is what it is. Um, I'm very, uh, you know, we lost. So it, it's week one of the season, and, you know, it, it happens. It's not going to determine the season. And despite some of our shortcomings this game, I'm actually very encouraged by what I saw. Um, um, defensive side, DeForest Buckner had two and a half sacks. Keep in mind, he had three last year, and he's pretty much about the eagle at right there. So he did good. Uh, Fred Warner um, did good starting out there. I know he had double-digit tackles. I don't know the exact number. Um, you know, so we did what we could, you know, against that Viking offense. I know early on it just seems like third down would come, and then they just would just keep converting, 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 and there was just times when we just couldn't get off the field. And then I think, like, um, as the second half went on, I thought they started to settle down a little bit more, and it helped the offense, you know, try to get into the rhythm. And, you know, for the offense, moving the, moving the ball wasn't a problem at all. It was just being able to finish, you know, just uh, one TD, three field goals, and then that fumble by Alfred Morris. So it, it was one of the things during the preseason that I thought, you know, I was a little concerned about was, you know, our red zone efficiency. You know, moving the ball hasn't been a problem. It's just, you know, I just want to see us finish. So hopefully going on, you know, this game right here, yeah, it sucks we lost, but you, you got to realize we're still growing and people got to realize that this is Garoppolo's – this is only his eighth game starting, so he hasn't played a full season in his career. So, you know, so for the great passes that he is going to throw, he's going to go through some growing pains as well, and he's going to make some bad ones like he did today, three picks. So he's human. And we all, we all knew that, you know. So now we could just, you know, focus on, okay – Okay, um, <laughs> you know, he, he got the loss out the way, so we can just, you know, finally move on. And we can learn a lot from this game. And we were there, we were right on the hills, and who knows? If if we limit a lot of those missed opportunities that we had, maybe we come out with a victory. But that's all hearsay. It's all could have, would have, should have. So it, it is what it is. And, you know, the Vikings were the better team today, and... Um, we just dug ourselves too deep of a hole to where, you know, we we just couldn't overcome our, our flaws. And, um, you know, definitely not taking anything away from the Vikings. But, um, but I think the Niners, we, we kind of, you know, beat ourselves as well. So it was a it was a dual effort. But, you know, again, um, shout out to the Minnesota Viking fans. Prop to you guys. You guys got a really great team and good luck the rest of the way. And. Other than that, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, for some of you guys that follow Niners Radio, I'm going to have um, 
more thoughts on the game. Uh, so just be on the lookout for an article coming out, uh, hopefully later tonight. So, yeah, we'll just have to lick our rooms and just get ready for the uh, Detroit Lions home opener. So, Niner Empire, hold your heads up. You know, it sucks, but there's some encouraging stuff. You know, we just got to shore up some stuff, and then we'll be all right. So, Niner Empire, one team, one family, one goal. Fuck the rest. I'll get with y'all next time. Late.